Doe. So today we're gonna review Milky from the Beaver Industries series from 3A. Uh, I saw this guy a while ago when I was into 3A, when I was obsessing over 3A, especially the robots. And when I saw this guy online, I had to have him. But at the time, I, there was no way I could pay $900 for this guy on eBay. So I kind of let it pass. But I think last year I was just perusing around my local online stores and I found this guy in a listing. And he was listed at during 2019, so he was there on the store for a while. Now this figure did come out in 2016. So with that being said, yeah, really glad I got him. I got this guy I think two years ago. And since I reviewed his partner, Sawyer, I think it might as well review this guy. So with that being said, let's take a look at him. And here he is, Mr. Milky. And this guy is a very substantial robot. He is huge. As you can see, this is my hand. This guy will dwarf any hot toy or any Iron Man. But he isn't heavy at all, which is really nice. So you could yeah, basically pose him and stick him in high places without fear of him toppling over other figures. And he is very well made. He is the type of robot I love, the blocky, dumb looking ones. I hate the stylized Gundam looking robots because those robots really annoy me with their over stylized design. I like simplistic, industrial, dirty looking robots. So the story with this robot is he basically works in a factory and he helps Sawyer refuel robots machinery with milk. I don't know if this is cow milk or some sort of resource that they call milk but that's his job basically he he just goes around <laughs> refills robots and machines with milk and that's his job and he found a friend in this little girl called Sawyer and I guess they go into little adventures with each other he does come with two accessories only well three if you um, include the stand but the stand is whatever he comes with a very huge backpack and a milk dispenser. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at them. So first off, his big ass milk dispenser backpack. This is very big, but it's, it's very light. It's, you know, it's hollow. So if you could see the detail in all that, all the paint apps gone into this big cylindrical piece. It's, it's just mesmerizing to me how they detail these things. I mean, 3A is a master in weathering. No other company does it better than 3A. As this, I guess this is model, model of this tank. And he does come with a hose that does stick into one of his milk cans. Now, unfortunately, because of the age, this hose is a bit sticky. I was able to unstick it by putting some powder believe it or not I put baby powder on it um, I don't advise anybody else to do that but it did help it not make it sticky so it's manageable because if it remains sticky and if this sticky hose you know lied on some other figure or lied on him they, it will destroy the paintwork it will leave a mark it will also I don't know it may melt some plastics I, you know, if you have computers back in the 90s, you have these wires. They tend to melt plastic. I don't know if that this particular rubber piece does that, but you know, better be safe than sorry, truthfully. So as you can see, this is the size of the backpack and he is back heavy. This guy is completely back heavy. He will have trouble standing when you attach this. Now you attach this with just two pegs here and the two pegs is located, of course, on his back. If you can see, doo -doo -doo. one, two. So you basically attach it there and he's good to go. So that's his first, what does that say? Doo -doo. Plate heat exchanger, okay. So yeah, this is backpack. This is one of his accessories. And let's take a look at his other one. Now his last accessory is his milk dispenser, da -dum. <laughs> very blocky, very, very 
very industrial looking. It does articulate only here. So he goes squirt, squirt, squirt. It's like a super soaker. Uh, it doesn't plug into him. As you can see, this hose only feeds into the gun. There's no trigger. It's just, it's a very blocky piece of hardware, but I love blocky pieces. I love simplistic designs like this. I mean, the, you could see the logo is like the, the udders of the milk, the udders of a cow. So I guess this is milk from a cow. I don't understand how machines are run by milk, but it's one of those weird comics, I guess. You have to read it to understand it. So this is his other accessory. He only comes with two, basically. And if you must, let's show the base, I guess. Ta -da. So this is his base. It is pretty large to help support his huge size and his huge weight on his back. As you can see, it is transparent, so I'll give a plus for this base. I hate bases, but when they're transparent like this, it's fine because you don't really see it on the shelf when it's present, so I like transparent um, bases but bases with the graphics on them is just horrible looking especially with the Avengers ones I just I would rather have another accessory than a base truthfully so this is his bottom base and to help put him up is this transparent stand I don't really know how to hook this on him truthfully this remains in the box his whole base um, assembly is I, I just leave it in the box really I just balance this guy on a wall. <laughs> I mean, his feet are, you know, wide enough to hold him together. And I just have the wall just balancing him. But this is his little, um, I guess, stabilizer thing. But I don't really use it. So, yeah. So this is his three accessories. So with that being said, let's stick all this junk on him and see how he looks. Okay, Mr. Milky. Did it? And here's Milky all loaded up with all two of his accessories, the gun and his backpack. And he is very back heavy. I'm kind of sweating right now. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this real slow. He is very back heavy, but I got him posed up enough so he, he is stable, at least, at least for one rotation. So you could see the backpack here and the backpack basically feeds off one of his canisters, I guess, to fill it or to maybe process it. You can see how huge this backpack is. I can barely put it in the frame. Yeah, he's wobbling a bit. One more rotation, you can do it. He's a very, if you could see how the weird stance I had to put him in. I mean, this guy is very blocky, very industrial looking. Everything I want in a dumb looking robot is here. I don't even mind if he doesn't have a face or eyes. It's just the way he looks completes the look, really. I mean, you don't really, you don't need any more. You don't need to put any more on this. You know it's a robot. You know it's heavy duty. And yeah, 3A does robots very well. They paint very well. They weather it very well. It actually looks real world. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a closer look at this big boy. So here's a closer gander at Mr. Milky. I'm guessing he's number 75 in the factory. I'm pretty sure there's more of him running around uh, this Sawyer factory. Keep it flowing. As you can see, all the patina, all the, all the damage, all the age. I mean, when 3A does weathering, they do it very well. Like I said before, like I said many times when I'm reviewing 3A stuff, they know how to do old type things. Like it's, it's been worn out. It's been worn out so much, but it's still functioning. That's how they do things. So you can see like there's like milk splatter all over them. You can see all the paint rubs he suffers through while working in this factory. It's got his name down there. I don't think this Milky is his name. I'm just, I think it's just a designation of this particular robot, the Milky robot. So you can see all the, the canisters filled with milk. 
and then the hose goes into this huge tank to be processed or to be collected or to be distributed don't know this is made of, out of rubber this this thing this thing was also sticky so i put some baby powder on it again i don't advise you guys to do that but it works for me if you want to try it then try it but don't say i didn't warn you then he has this canada looking leaf on the back of his backpack i don't know if this particular universe is based in canada or something or it's a canadian company I barely fit this whole canister and frame as you can see there see all his joints Yeah, I mean, you could still find them around eBay, but you know, the prices are just, it's eBay prices, so what to do? So I was pretty lucky I found this locally. And I cannot believe this seller had this in storage for at least three years and nobody bothered to pick them up. Honestly, I don't think a lot of people know what this is. Cause when I saw the listing, he just showed the box that said Milky. And I was like, holy shit, he has a Milky bot. So it goes to show that when you see a figure and you know you're never going to get it because of the price, never doubt yourself. I mean, one day you might get it. So always keep looking. Always keep scrounging. You never know, you might find it in some weird place. Some weird store. So yeah, this is him. Very glad I got him. I was obsessing over this guy for years when I first saw him like but you know there was no way I could afford eBay prices for him okay calm down <laughs> you know what let's stick this guy on a shelf and not tempt fate so here's Milky on the shelf and as you can see he does take a good a good amount of space on the shelf I have him leaning against the wall because he's back heavy and that's the only way I could stabilize him safely. Uh, he's next to his friend, Sawyer. I don't know if this character is called Sawyer or the company they work at is Sawyer. Again, I, I didn't read the comics, sorry. But yeah, if you have a chance to get this, then get it because 3A do not make one-off robots like this. They usually... Um, make the same mold and just repaint it over and over again like what you see here it just is the same mold they just repaint it over and over again same mold repainted so this one is definitely a one-off so that, that you know it rarity is off the scale uh, i would advise to avoid ebay if you want to get this but if you have <laughs> if you have the cash then by all means so that's my little humble review for this guy. It's pretty short. He doesn't come with a lot. Um, yeah, you know, articulation is basically you know standard stuff, really. Um, also, be careful if you're if you ever get this guy. He does have just these spokes to hold his whole arm, and they do come really stiff. You have to really wiggle them free. So be patient when if you ever have him. Be patient. Don't force any joints out of him because he is an old figure and plastic does degrade over time. Yeah, so with that being said, um, thanks for watching and go get him.